a lot of people will drive out here and think this is a very barren, isolated area, but to us it's home. My wife Kathy and daughter Harriet and I all live here 35 kilometres north of Brewarrina. We've got 9,200 hectares. We're predominantly a cattle operation. We're about the middle of Bacara Plains. Um, this area, originally when we came here, was a 2,500 acre paddock called Muddy Tank. It was dominated by some pretty big scalds, completely bare clay pan areas. We did have a bit of mechanical intervention to kick start things on this country. It was so bare and so hard, but basically it's been grazing management, controlling the animals and the numbers they're in and the time they're here. It is magic, almost, you know, like it's, it's so incredibly beneficial and it's so unfortunate that they get such a bad rap. They are basically a, a large vat of decomposing composting microbes that break down cellulistic fibres that we can't access and make any benefit out of and turn them into one of the healthiest proteins you can consume. And the byproduct is one of the best fertilisers you can put on our landscape. You know? So they do all that at the same time they're walking around busting up hard cap surfaces which resist water infiltration. But this has gone from being completely unproductive to um, you know, taking some quite reasonable stock days per hectare out of here. It's a good area to, to prove that even on the worst areas, even your most degraded areas, there's a big chance you can improve it. With a solution, healthy regenerative food being produced while it's fixing the ecology is the solution to climate change. If we don't change agriculture, we won't change climate change, period. Over the last 200 years, we've done massive damage to our soils. In some cases, we have no topsoil left. Soils um, are very degraded. Their ability to function, their ability to buffer us against extremes um, are very compromised. The good news is I'm watching these farmers, these innovative farmers, rebuilding soil and rebuilding function. Over the last 10 years, Soils for Life has been an advocate, raising the voices of farmers who are innovating, who are rebuilding soils. It's a privilege to think that we are able to grow food for the nation and society. And I think it's even a more of a privilege to um, now understand that we can actually heal the soil. This farm has been run up until 1990 in best practice, conventional agriculture, until we changed um, our direction of going to more biological regenerative agriculture. But what we've found that's really worked here on Milgadara is understanding our soils and understanding those pools of nutrients. We believe in putting on humus compost with deficient minerals, amending those minerals, amending the trace minerals, you are adding something that stimulates the soil microbiology and plant growth. Often when we'll dig up the soil, we'll see fungal hyphae or mycelium in the soil. So we know our soils are alive. We see all these signs in the soil and when it rains, then the little mushrooms will pop up. We've shown here on Milgadara through the A-Bear uh, benchmarking that every year that we've done this, that we've actually been more profitable than the average farm. We have planted over 50,000 trees since 2005. So by adding those shelter belts uh, for insects, for animal protection, as well as shading the soil, it's really encouraging. We're looking after all our biodiversity. I'd like Milgadara to be seen as a model farm where we've demonstrated, illustrated, educated, um, other farmers over the last 20 years that we've opened our door to everyone. From people overseas, everyone could come and see what we've done. I believe if we can pull together farmer knowledge with the science and with advisors and do on ground things to show farmers how it can be done, that's where farmers are going to learn. Australia is leading the world in soil carbon projects. We are pioneers at this. It's a really big opportunity, really big opportunity for farmers and governments and researchers and everyone to work collaboratively. The capacity of the soil to restore itself and the whole environment to restore ourselves is immense if we give it the opportunity. It's really important that we celebrate 
the work of these farmer innovators and soil pioneers. They are solving some of these national and global problems from the ground up. We need to amplify their ideas and their work so that more people can learn from that. So that we can change the way we think about farming systems. That thin layer of soil that covers the surface of the earth is crucial for all of us. It's essential to support life on land. Soil is important to all of us. We all have a role to play in nurturing and regenerating our soils.